Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our clinical biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about sorbitol, diabetes, and cataracts. We talked about reducing sugars in your urine, lactose intolerance, galactosemia, glycogen storage diseases, and then we started talking about islet cell tumors that arise from the pancreas, such as insulinoma, a tumor that releases too much insulin, glucagonoma, a tumor that releases too much glucagon, somatostatinoma, a tumor that releases too much somatostatin, VIPoma, which releases too much vasoactive insulin intestinal peptide or VIP. Today we'll talk about gastrinoma. A tumor, usually in the pancreas, releases too much gastrin. If it ends in IN, it's probably a protein or a peptide. Gastro. What does gastro mean? Stomach. Because gastrin is probably the only hormone that likes the stomach. It boosts your stomach motility and secretion. Gastrinoma is also known as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, sometimes abbreviated ZES. Let's get started. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. Also refer to my physiology video when we talked in detail about gastrin and the other GI hormones. Digestion includes two parts, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical means motility, movement of your gut. Chemical means secretions. Secretions of what? secretions of enzymes and hormones to help you digest and therefore absorb your food. This is a quick review of the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract. Please pause and review. What are the cells that secrete gastrin? They are usually in the stomach and in the upper part of small intestine. In abnormal conditions, I can have a tumor in the pancreas that releases gastrin. Gastrin is one of these gastrointestinal hormones. The gastrointestinal hormones come from the upper part of the small intestine and sometimes from the stomach. That's why the GI hormones are collectively known as enterogastrone, such as gastrin. The gastrointestinal hormones include gastrin, secretin, cholecystokine and pancreozymin, vasoactive intestinal peptide, GIP, motilin and somatostatin. Today we're talking about gastrin. It's probably the only hormone that likes your stomach. It boosts stomach motility and secretion. All the other hormones inhibit motility and secretion of the stomach, with few exceptions. Look at this, look at this. The stomach has G cells. G cells in the stomach secrete what? Gastrin, which is pro-gastric. It is pro-stomach. It boosts the stomach motility and secretions. Here is gastrin released by the G cells of your stomach as well as the upper part of small intestine. What does it do? It's pro-motility and secretion of your stomach. Motility is called peristalsis and secretion includes secretion of the hydrochloric acid and of pepsinogen. When pepsinogen is activated, it becomes pepsin. Islet cell tumors are tumors that can arise in the pancreas and they include insulinoma, which is the most common, glucagonoma, somatostatinoma, gastrinoma, and don't forget VIPoma, which we discussed in the last video. Today we're talking about gastrinoma, Zollinger Ellison syndrome. So let's go, baby. How can I tell if the patient has gastrinoma or Zollinger Ellison syndrome? The history of peptic ulcer diseases that are not responding to medications. This ulcer is not responding to antacids and it's not responding to the eradication of H. pylori bacteria. What's going on then? Moreover, this ulcer is not just one because most people who have an ulcer in their stomach or intestines usually one ulcer. No, they have many ulcers. Most patients who have peptic ulcer, the ulcer is either in the stomach or in the first part of the duodenum. No, these ulcers can extend beyond the first part of the duodenum. What's going on? And it's not just ulcer and heartburn symptoms, we also have diarrheal symptoms. We also have volume depletion and we have metabolic alkalosis. Why is that? Because they have severe volume depletion. Volume depletion will trigger aldosterone release. Aldosterone will try to reabsorb salt and water and replenish your volume. Thank you so much. However, aldosterone will also excrete potassium in the urine, hypokalemia, and excrete protons in the urine, metabolic alkalosis. 
Moreover, you're losing tons of acid because sometimes I vomit this acid out. Some belching action. When you lose the acid, HCL, you become alkalotic. How can I diagnose this disease? History and physical exam? Endoscopy will show you many ulcers that extend beyond the first part of the duodenum. Serum gastrin is elevated. It's called gastrinoma. Hello. Let's try to suppress this gastrin. Well, you will not be able to suppress it. Okay, let's try. Okay, give secretin. Normally, secretin is anti-stomach, right? Because all of the GI hormones are anti-stomach except gastrin. So secretin hates gastrin because gastrin loves the stomach, but secretin hates the stomach. Gastrin is pro-gastric motility and secretion, but secretin is anti-gastric motility and secretion. So secretin wants to suppress gastrin. Under normal conditions, secretin will succeed at inhibiting gastrin release, but not here. Tumors do not obey your rules. You want to suppress a tumor? Good luck with that. You will fail. Gastrin remains elevated even after this attempted suppression. Can I see the tumor? Yes, we have ultrasound, we have CT scan with contrast and MRI. Complications of a gastrinoma or Zollinger-Ellison syndrome include volume depletion because of the watery diarrhea, Upper GI bleed, hematemesis, I am vomiting blood because of the ulcers. And when I lose all of that blood, what's going to happen? I can suffer from anemia. Starts as normocytic anemia, later it be can become microcytic anemia. Management, it's a tumor, so remove it surgically. Before I remove it, or if it metastasizes, how can I treat it? Well, you can try proton pump inhibitors, and you can try octreotide, which is a somatostatin analog. Recall that somatostatin is a doofus. It inhibits everything. It even inhibits its own secretion. So you can bet that octreotide will try to suppress gastrin secretion. Do you want to learn more about cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the stomach, colon cancer, liver cancer, renal cell carcinoma, and urothelial carcinoma of the bladder? Then download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Zollinger-Ellison syndrome can cause metabolic alkalosis. Do you know the different types or the different causes of metabolic alkalosis? Do you know the difference between saline responsive versus saline resistant metabolic alkalosis? Do you know the difference between the serum anion gap and the urine anion gap? You can learn about all of these things by downloading my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button. Choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe and hit the bell, smash like, support my channel here or here. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.